Call the mayor, call the press. The ban list is out and people are tripping. Top topics, terraforming, where do we go from here? Dragon rulers, why only Tempest? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Yugi Boom podcast, episode three. Uh, this time we're gonna be talking about the newly dropped ban list. Dun dun dun. Oh. I am here with your fellow hosts. This time we have Yugi Boom regular Joe, as what well up? as my co-host Francisco. Francisco. How's everyone doing? <laughs> good, man. How about you? Uh, I good. mean, we should be asking you, because I think you have been gone for quite a while. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I've le- I left the Yugi Boom team for about 30 days. Uh, I took a, my honeymoon to the UK and toward England. Yep. Um, and I while I was you. there, I found only two really cool Yu-Gi-Oh shops. Unfortunately, I went, checked every city I went. And if the viewers are going to want to see that, they're going to have to wait for the next Duelist and Cars episode, right? Yes, yeah, so we have That's two. right, baby. Exactly. We went international. <laughs> Dude, I haven't even seen the footage yet. I'm well, he went international. Excited. It's pretty cool. We'll go do one in Mexico Two scene. UK All special right. edition. Oh, yeah, you guys should definitely do one in Mexico. That'd be awesome. All right. All right, well, we'll stay tuned because that's coming, coming, to, that's... coming to you shortly from Yugi Boom. Ideas are being thrown out. All right, but anyways, when I got back, we we had a big moment. Uh, the ban list dropped. This one definitely, you know, every ban list always shakes up the meta, but this one definitely did a lot, I think. Yeah. Um, and we decided we had to get together and we had to talk about the ban list. Yeah. And um, the cool, the cool yeah, thing about on. us, guys, is like, um, we pride ourselves in trying not to beat a dead horse. I mean, being the rogue network, um, our discussions on the, the ban list are going to be a little bit more out of the box, a little bit more uh, opinionated, or even just more curiosity. You know, we don't really feel the need to talk about stuff everybody else talked about but uh we have some interesting notes here and I, I i found like i like to take on just like when i watch a movie i like to look for little things no one else might have really noticed and stuff but you know what, what i guess we can start with what do you guys think was the biggest standout for you well i had a lot of like this one personally hit me a lot i mean obviously some big standouts were um bardish obviously that's a huge one yeah, um that one hurt me uh bardiche. the bardiche. bardiche um is that how you say it, really bardiche? i believe it's bardiche, bardiche? i mean sense, i could be wrong bardiche. but like in diablo 2 that's my reference i used to have one of those that i made a rune word out of and i remember an npc or something calling it a bardiche so a lot of people say bardiche online and i'm usually not a pronunciation stickler but Lut Galane, some NPC said that to me in Diablo 2, so could we get someone who knows their medieval weapons to confirm? Yeah, but I'm it? sure it's referring to his weapon, which I is like it a was polearm British. axe. Yeah. It's like a polearm with an axe head. Yeah. Yeah. So I that's whatever. Exactly. I thought that's how you were, the way you were pronouncing it was right. Yeah, thank you. Somebody I agrees thought. with me. But whatever, who cares? So yeah, so why were those big for you? Um, well, I'm not even saying those were necessarily the big ones. I think those are the, obviously the standout ones. The biggest one for me was, the, the, you know, field spells are almost gone. You know, terraforming now being hit to one. Um, my light stage has been hit to one um, in my trick stars. So that basically deck is completely dead. It wasn't doing very well to begin with ever since. Um, yeah, the per- your pure trick stars. Exactly. Right? Pure trick stars hasn't done well since the very first time it came out um, with the whole firewall dragon loop. But now that we're lost its core at the, at the field spell search, you know, it's done. Yeah, you're going to have to run trick star something now. Mm-hmm. Um, or just use the reincarnations in World Chalice. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah. But uh, um, what about you? What, what what stood out the most to you? Well, the ones that stood out the most to me, but I wasn't super surprised, if that makes any sense, were Dark Hole and Solemn Judgment. Those ones have been at one for the, like, the longest time, I think, like throughout the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh! up to this point, uh, except for uh, Dark Hole. No, I think Judgment was at three at some point, right? I can't remember, when honestly. It first came, when it first came out, yeah. yeah. Was when Judgment Metal Raiders, was that it? I think so, yes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so it eventually got limited to one uh, after like a couple of, I think, the first bound this even. But yeah, no, uh, those two, right there, like straight up. Yeah. yeah. I actually have some interesting talking points on those two cards specifically, because like a lot of people, like especially in our friend group, and then also like, um, you know, like not many people reacted too hard on YouTube and stuff, but like some, I've seen, been reading a lot about like, people being like dang dark hole at three like judgment at three but i honestly feel like those cards are power crept by things in the meta and i actually you know i wrote down some context so i don't just talk out my butt here but um like for dark hole for example it's like we're rogue players so three dark hole kind of seems a little scary against some of our decks you know what i mean like it all depends right but like what you're running yeah exactly but like for our more meta decks because like all of us have at least one deck that's like not necessarily as rogue you know what i mean like i still keep world chalice relevant 
And then it's like you a more have meta, stars. A more you always keep some version. sort of pendulum yeah. deck, and then we all have like our blue eyes, dark magician, those kind of decks. But well, like, now I think pendulums are getting a boost because yeah. of the spam. But the one here. thing I will say, being a rogue player, is like I obviously know what's what, and so it's like. Um, Dark hole. I can't think of like super broken cards that are really gonna fear dark hole. Like nowadays, your boards are so broken. No one is even really fearing destruction because most bro boards are unbreakable. Like if you're you linked with a bunch of the nightmares, like nothing's gonna be destroyed by battle or card effect. Like and even beyond that, what broken boss monsters like can be destroyed nowadays? You know what I mean? Or can be targeted and like all these loopholes around that. So it's like I feel like dark hole itself is kind of like eh. You want to run three dark hole go ahead clog your deck with that like i would still probably only run two of that card if i had to and that would be more for to make up the right geki yeah yeah and then for judgment um i had a more niche thing but i have noticed like with evenly matched being such a apparent card um a lot of people have thrown wiretap or dark bribe at three on their sides again you know because Evenly matched could kill you at an unfortunate yeah. moment. You're not expecting um, it to yeah. be done. And so it's like, with that, you got three judgments, and you freaking activate a judgment, and someone wiretaps you or dark bribes you, they're just going to laugh. You just paid 4K to eat it for nothing or to draw one. You know, like, and then if you wanted to be ballsy and go again, you know, like, you're just kind of killing yourself. So judgment is crazy, and don't get me wrong. Being at three, that is three negate anything. So it's like, I'm not talking away from judgment but i just feel like the reason they're at three is the same reason torrential and bottomless are no one's really playing them and if you're gonna use them they're kind of dead like even just having to set a counter trap now feels so slow like if you're not just having hand traps to protect you and all these busted monsters those cards aren't even really relevant to me anyways you know but i just thought that was interesting that now they're kind of just like freeing up the ban list which is you know i, I also think that's the main reason why they did it they're just like so so many cards that are like up there like i don't know if it still is but i remember for a while victory dragon was on the ban list when he says yep. he can't be used in a duel so yeah. it's like why was he on the ban list when he says that already you know so it's like i think they're trying to clean up a little bit you know um still not consistent with the ban list which we know everybody complains about but those are like two things i noticed about those cards what more surprised me is how crazy they just attacked a little bit of everything you know yeah. like yeah what well, did you guys expect to get hit Oh yeah, as you said before, like, I'm not surprised with Dark Hole or Judgment at 3 because, you know, the game is sped up so incredibly fast that, you know, traps aren't, you know, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're too slow to be played, and the only decks that are being are playing those cards are, like, the rogue-type decks, you or know? Or control decks. Or control decks or anti-meta stuff, so it's, like, you know, a no-brainer to bring yeah. those back. Yeah, I was expecting um, Sky Strikers when they—I think they got hit, right? It was yeah. The what got the the whole Mort Hornet? Is that what yeah. got hit? Yeah. I forget. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Like I knew that was coming because it became it's becoming so much more so much more accessible now with um, the Heroes Revenge, right? Yeah. Um, so that that was expected. Um, then people are always like talking like, oh, Thunder Dragons are so important, or you know. But I think right now what we're really experiencing is it's not so much about core, and this is what you're saying about. Bardish, Bardish, whatever you want to say. Bardish, yeah. um, Bardish, Bardish, Bardish. Um, but this is what kind of we're talking about is like we're seeing the decks that are becoming a problem are these like decks with three card engines, like and a, and a ton of them. There's like twenty three card engines in a deck, and like they yeah. use their plays to get into some optimal link plays, sit on a couple into gates, um, and like like you, I, uh, I think you were saying a little bit before this podcast too that if something gets taken out of those of that engine, like it's done, like the whole the, the or like that that deck for the most part. Um, either needs to redo the whole entire deck because the strategy's gone, or if something that gets negated while they're playing, they have to redo something as well. Yeah. Um, so I think the interesting part of this ban list is treating those types of decks. We're not seeing like Thunder Dragon get hit because of how overpowered it is. You know what I mean? We're seeing like these kind of mass, little tiny, like it's almost like Jenga. They're pulling little things out, right? Instead yeah. of like these huge, big changes, which I appreciate because I mean, if someone just spent the you know four hundred dollars of a little thunder dragon deck it would awfully suck if something got hit from it and uh god bless konami because i think thunder dragons will be the last will be one of the last sets that qualify for the 10 this year right yeah yeah so i mean that it's, it's it's gonna be interesting i'm really excited to see what happens on the next band list specifically yeah i wonder how many people will be up in arms about brent saying god bless konami <laughs> i've yeah, never right, heard exactly. those words used in the same sentence it's usually god damn well konami. no i'm only saying it's like yeah, it's, um, just roasting what is the uh, what is uh, stockholm Team syndrome Samurai. where you're yeah, like yeah, 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 just, yeah, just, like, just, so much about konami that i'm like oh thank you so much yeah, exactly. thank you so much for taking it away from you so yeah, i'm gonna exactly. take my love for you yeah and i haven't made a better deck in years too so i'm like i'm totally 
happy with what's going on. There. Yeah. So <laughs> I think the biggest thing too for, for me is like, I'm kind of happy, but it's like, I think uh, an, another Yugi Boomer of ours, uh, Abe, he had said like, okay, Guard Dragon's got to get the stick now, you know, like they're just yeah. so cause similar, you know, like they're splashable in a lot of different things. A little bit more niche, not like Zodiac, you know, that can literally hit, could have been splashed into anything. But like, um, he was like talking the last duel night we had about like them being a problem and they got to, they got to do a lot to them. Like either limits our Yuja and do all this other stuff. And like me and Gary had made a joke because of like a meme I, I like made one day, um, but I was like, nah, so are you just going to be like there still like nothing? They're going to hit some of the easy stuff, like, you know, like the easy ways to get in the guardians. Like, to be honest, Gary called the collapse serpent and the Werver Buster, but I thought they were going to hit the spell or something. I don't know why uh, yeah. I thought that. But um, yeah, like he, we ended up being right. They just hit those both to one. And then Eclipse Werven, I, I didn't keep up with the meta too much in these last couple months. Um, been playing too much World of Warcraft. But uh I do know that, like, that's probably preemptive or there's something I don't know about that he's already being hella utilized for, you know? Because mm -hmm. he was crazy because, like, that's, like, a very big staple in all Chaos decks. Like, just, yeah. like, so who knows? And um, similar, like, Dark Hole and Judgment, hate to revisit the last topic, but, like, Chaos Ember Dragon was another one where I was like, after they changed his effect, who even yeah. cared that he came back, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. just the people who had ulti first, those are the only people who cared that he came back, you know? Yeah. Um, but... Not really surprising. I, I personally thought the ban list was going to be a little bit more obviously harsh because, you know, we've we've kind of like it's no like mystery in the community that we all think Konami never really did a good job on a lot of ban lists. But in the last couple, they've been getting a little bit more just like chopping the axe, you know, like yeah, they've been getting yeah. progressively harsher, like obviously not harsh to us rogue players, but I can see why some of the meta players are like, damn, like this is crazy. This is going to be dope Dude. for us because now they get, their game is shaking up. Right. Again, you know what I mean? Which Tempest is, cool, is back. We're going to see all these new combos. Exactly. Tempest is back. Tempest like, yeah. is back. Oh my god, do I have so many things to say about But then Tempest. the other ones are still gone, though. Like, I mean, I... <sighs> Damn, well, that's exactly dude. part of my point. Is yeah. That there's a reason why Tempest and only Tempest came back. Yeah. You know, like, I, I, I feel there's multiple reasons. And if I can, refer to my notes. Do it. But let's go let's to your put notes. you up closer to the microphone, though, just because you're about to say some good stuff, and I want yeah. to get <laughs> Hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's get in this. I'm gonna sound so much better. I'm going to get so crazy. <laughs> no, do it. Do it. All right. So, oh, hear me out here, y'all. And mind you, this is all speculation. No. Speculation. And I don't no want breathing. this to get Come back to my news outlet. I could lose my sorry, journalism sorry. job. But, <laughs> see what I deal with. Um, yes. Dragon rulers. All right, I love dragons more than these two guys ever will. I'm like Will Ferrell and Starsky and Hutch. So why only Tempest? That's one of my biggest, you know, talking points for this podcast. Yeah. And I, I, have, I have really quick tidbit, but multiple reasons for. So I'm going to go with just each dragon ruler in particular. Um, so for Blaster to start, obviously, I wish Blaster would have came back because I missed the days when I had Blaster and Fire Fist and like just little things like that. And I, I, I thought about it for a second. I was like, okay, Blaster isn't too broken because now like he, he I believe his pop does target. And it's so, like real quick as you go. Can you mention what each of them do? Yeah. Does? So Seven Blaster turns. is the fire Dragon Ruler. So for those of you who don't know Dragon Rulers, Dragon Rulers pretty much each have a unique effect um, when um that it has to do with them themselves like dra uh, blaster pops a card tempest searches a dragon um redox for monster reborn something and title i forget i think title adds back a water or dragon from the grave to the hand or something yeah they and they all, all do it for dragon or their attribute or whatever yeah if, if i'm not mistaken and then on top of that they all can be pitched with a uh, they can all be pitched um and they can be summoned by banishing two of the type and or so you can banish dragon and their attribute or two of that attribute or two dragons so it's like that's why i was able to run blaster and fire fist because i could pitch him with a fire monster to pop something and then that made my um spirit live because then i pitch like a you know rooster then summon the spirit get that then use them for something and then banish them and then summon the blaster you know then now you got a beat stick i mean couldn't do that the same turn i popped i believe but you know you'd set you up for future stuff like free beat sticks and things like that and obviously they were a problem because they all also search once they are banished, you know what I mean? I think that's where I mixed up the effects a little bit. It's yeah. been a while. But so Blaster been gone the, for a while. Yeah, so Bla <laughs> Blaster's the red one. And um, main reason when I started thinking about it more of why he didn't come back 
is because one, I think they might be testing the waters to see what people do with Tempest because he is one of the better ones in my opinion, especially because like I'm juiced for like Dragoonities, my plant dragons, hella decks I have that are going to be able to utilize him even at one. And then uh, I, th for I thought about, you know, <laughs> even though they did just get hit, like Salamangrates are still like a fire dominant deck and then giving them a blaster just adds an additional thing they can do, you know? Yeah. And then so moving on to title, the water one, similar to Blaster, there is still some water decks like, you know, that are pretty powerful. So like giving them that edge might be a little unfair. And then, you know, Redox just being a Reborn is like, is nice. And then the main reason the rest of them didn't come back is because even at one, you still have the whole Dragon Ruler engine, which is right. going to make hella more Dragon decks way more unnecessarily powerful. Give them rank seven plays or, you know, just hella more beat sticks and link plays and all these more dragons. And, you know, Guard Dragon having that dragon restriction, if you mess up in your combo, the Dragon Rulers are all still good. So just being able to summon them isn't a bad thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, that that's the last point I think I have is in the end, I, I really think Tempest will be the only one probably period or for a while, because if they brought all the dragon rollers back, they would go back to what they were because they've been limited before and they were yeah. still bad. Like yeah, they were yeah. still OP. Well, they so, came out limited, right? No, they came out unlimited and the babies, I think, were banned first. And uh, then, yeah. then they limited the big guys. Because when they first came out, they were rares in Tachyon Galaxy. And I remember it was hella easy to make your money back. Because you were there were so many cards that people wanted. And those rares were like $10 rares or something. I thought they came so, out in the uh, in the tins. No, that's the tins always reprint sets. No, no, no. But that's I think that's where they came from, No, right? they came out hollow in those tins. They came out Legend oh. of the Tachyon Galaxy. I have them all rare original printed still. Yeah, because, I mean, the secrets look nicer, but I like their Tachyon Galaxy printing. Because that was when I first started hella getting back into the game. That's why I remember that so fondly. Because yeah. I needed Cardinal out of that set for my Fire Fist deck. Um, well, it's, it's funny you talk about um, about Dragon Rolls, uh, uh, like, as a whole, because I, you know, I got back to the game, like, two years ago, three years ago now. And yeah. I miss all of that stuff, right? Um, yeah. So me coming back in the game, it's like, when you see a certain card, you're like, oh, I want to find out more about this. Like, when I found Quantums, I was like, I got to find out more about this card. And sure enough, I started finding random dragon rulers. I was like, well, this looks awesome. Like, the artwork looks so cool. This concept of dragons and elements I was so into. And then finally, those people were like, oh, no, they've been banned forever. Like, that was that was a whole format, Brent. You missed out. Like, yeah, God, yeah, dang yeah. it. So, so, day late and a dollar short. Exactly. Day late and a dollar short. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so... I did. I still. Ha I went and bought a place that of like each secret just to have it, you know, just so I could, I, just in case anything happens because they were so cool looking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've been sitting on a shelf ever since. Well, I think another thing too is like, I got juiced when I saw Tempest for bias reasons because like I play Dragoonities and I actively upgrade my Dragoonities and try to keep them relevant and the Guard Dragons help. Um, but like certain things really didn't affect me. Honestly, the only thing on this ban list I'm like lightweight salty about was terraforming. Yeah. Because I just found a way, like even though I messed up a little bit with the extra deck, like I just found a way to kind of make Yang Zing's good, uh, True King's good again, um, for myself at least. And um, not getting to that diagram as easy as sucks. Like I just refuse to, I, I'm cool with, I, I'm like not one of those people who thinks like Desires is a neg too and stuff like that. But I just can't justify running set rotation, to be honest. Like, I just don't like running that card. And then, well, like, you have I'm to have not, two field spells. Yeah, and the only yeah. traps I like to run in my True King Yang Zings are searchable counter traps, you know? And it's like, I don't want to put a metaverse in that deck now because that doesn't help me at all. Like, what is activating a metaverse on their, like, getting a diagram on their turn going to do for me, you know? Yeah. So it's point. like, that one made me a little hurt. But other than that, like, I'm really not tripping about anything else. Like, I, I thought about it and I was like, Titles not uh, Tempest is nice to see come back and like there's a lot of other stuff they did like I mean it is cool that I'm I'm in the works of reviving my Jinzo by mixing it with like heroes like Destiny and Dark Heroes and Stratos back at two is cool you yeah, know or Stratos cool. at two I mean is cool like there's some things on this ban list that I was like pretty cool about like happy they didn't hit my Star Yuja and then with the Collapse Turbine and the Werber Buster my only deck that used that was Blue Eyes and even then the in Blue Eyes the guard dragon is more of an extension than it is necessary right you know right. i can still win from just the blue eyes core that's what's nice about blue eyes so like those being out i'll still keep them at one and just go back to like just some little more draw power or something like yeah, i, think I feel fine. like they and like the uh yeah. ban list right now like what they did with the whole if you follow like i was looking at all the cards on the list right and it looks like what they did was they hit a lot of meta decks currently and they kind of boosted up a lot of old meta cards and they re they gave those cards more life 
I, I was going to kind of allude to that too, because it kind of yeah. seems like they're giving more breath for the control type decks too. You know, yeah, like yeah. Letting Cliff Forts come off a little bit more. Trying and to like, even the ground you know, with like, these decks so yeah, they can compete with each other. Exactly. Yeah, so. And that's cool too, you know, and all, but it's like also some things it's like, we just talked about like sometimes it's a little too late, you know, like Toby's yeah. Toby's juice, and he kind of called it if you watched our last discre- or yeah, he the didn't call it, but he wished for it and brought it into fruition, I guess. But like um, <laughs> he, he was talking about like Insectors <laughs> just getting off the ballast slowly because like they deserve it. It's been they're kind of like not that broken anymore, you yeah, know. Yeah. And it's like um, now we're seeing stuff like that, so we could only hope, you know. Obviously, they can't appease everybody in the world, you know. Um, there's probably some guy out there who still wants support for some old deck no one even thinks about no more, you know? Yeah. And but like, they can still support Toby, though. Yeah. <laughs> that they will still support Toby. I'm well, I, what I'm, one thing that I've... I don't know, like, again, that's why I've... What I've noticed being a new trend in ban lists in the past three years, mm-hmm. what I've noticed is that when something... An older card like Stratos gets pulled off or an older card like Solemn Judgment, like a card that's huge that, like was expected like going crazy over this card coming back and then doesn't really do anything i think they're doing it konami's gonna uh, and slap, slap me the rest for saying this whatever but they're doing a good job of like okay one was okay let's do two let's do three and they eventually get that card completely off the list which i think is cool like the chaos emperor dragon the black luster soldier um like i think they're they're doing a better job of like letting like now toby doesn't have to wait like oh my god i've got these two what's next because we'll probably get the third one being unbanned you know or uh, being or, i'm sorry it will go from semi-limited to off the, off the list completely in like Unlimited, a couple months yeah. you know so that's that's the cool part about it i think yeah i'm just waiting like as it gets crazier and crazier i still think we're like a couple band lists away from one that just like blows everybody's mind like pot agreed to one like yeah, or some yeah, crazy yeah. shit like that like i, oh, I could dude, just i don't know man pot <laughs> i know but i'm just joking but they get, you get the point i'm trying yeah to no make, no like, i get i feel um bad. you know it's like the whole firewall thing like no one ever thought firewall was actually going to get hit and then bam yeah. him and gumlar both got you know separately but you know summon sorcerers another card bam yeah destroyed. it's funny like, too because people always talk about like i can't believe the ban firewall dragon like they, they, they lost out on money because there's so many cards times they could have reprinted that card there's the alternate artwork we know exists but at the end of the day it's like yeah okay that's cool that they did that and like it's they, gonna come back it's gonna come it's probably gonna come back it's but, coming back but also it's like look back at the like when with zodiacs you know like konami did the like, super dirty thing by putting those in the tins within the first week of the tins being out banning all that shit you know what i mean like yeah that they still was have actually some of these bad. weird moments where you're like oh the ban list is only happened for money we know? actually have a funny story with those tins because i remember a certain friend of ours we all usually pitch in on cases and stuff together, and a friend of ours had a tin that he hadn't paid Brent for for heck of long, and the tin was at my house. So he finally pays Brent after a long time, and then the funniest part is he opened his tin and like all his secrets were Zodiacs that yeah, were banned. Yeah. So it was kind of like just weird and kind of crappy for him, but also kind of funny, you know? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, he should have opened it as soon as he got it, or maybe he should have... Could have got like, those Zodiacs yeah. off a couple weeks before, yeah, you know? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. But yeah, exactly. I think like... Another thing, too, with this ban list is, like, I've, uh, and uh, one of our other friends, Favi, mentioned this to me, is, like, you know, a lot of control decks, like, you know, they hit terraforming and stuff, but Mystic Mine is, like, still there, and then a lot of other control yeah. decks are oh really untouched, God, you know what I mean? Like, sub-terrors are untouched, I mean, I, obviously they're not super dominant, but, like, I hate Fiendus, like, I wish that card would go to one or something, you know? Like, there's there's a lot of different, you know, control decks out there that are going to be fine, you know? And it's like, yeah, well, I kind of sucks that we're being pushed into that corner. Yeah, well, th- you make an interesting comment, from Francisco, about the Mystic Mind, because they also did hit Metaverse, and that was a big part of the Mystic Mind deck. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't need to do was it on setting, It was activating it on, yeah. Exactly, that's like a huge, crucial piece of it. So, um, I'm curious now to see how that kind of changes things. Yeah, well, I mean, it's definitely going to become a lot more selective. I mean, yeah. the only reason I'm not too upset about terraforming for my Dragoonities is because I will be getting my Link Monster who searches Dragon's Ravine. But, like I said, for a couple of my other decks, it kind of hurt. Like, it sucks. Like, Wait, the Dragoonity specific Link Monster searches Dragon's Ravine? Yeah, it searches any Dragoonity spell or trap or Dragon's Ravine specifically. Oh, wow. That's yeah, cool. so he's, and I believe he just takes two Dragon and or Wing Beasts. I don't think he needs a Dragoonity specifically, so he'd be usable in a lot of other dragon decks that need to get Dragon's Ravine, gotcha. which is a lot of decks. And honestly, not even just dragon decks, a lot of decks that just need to dump the Dark Worm for a free monster or mm-hmm. dump the or and stuff like that. Like, things to think about. But now I'm saying, like, that's what's kind of cool about the ban list to me, regardless of what's on it, is, like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I get a thrill of, like, when the ban list happens... 
that next duel night when we all meet up, I like to whip out all my decks and be like, okay, what's here that needs to change from the ban list? Then I get to whip out all my edit cards for that deck and think about all these well, other that's, strategies that's I really didn't fun. have. You Actually, know what I mean? Like I, I didn't have room that. for this before, yeah. but now Stop these three cards gotta go. So, so which what, what this kind of brings me on to our next topic? Which two questions? One, which decks are you most excited to edit, or have you already edited? And two, which decks do we expect to be emerging now from this ban list in terms of like what we're seeing in competition? I know we talked about control decks, but more specifics. Excited to edit my Evil Swarm again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm actually very excited to edit that. Um, and and, like, what and, changes are you looking putting in? Um, although I kind of I'm gonna contradict myself here because, like I said, it would be really sucky if it happened to you. But like, I'm kind of gonna experiment with all those judgments in my evil yeah, swarm. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm already running a lot of new annoying cards like Crackdown to deal with my monster effect issue. You know, like because mm-hmm. that's the biggest problem in my control evil swarm is there's the occasional level three or four monster that can get over Ophion somehow, you know? So it's like, that sucks when that happens. And Breakthrough was a little too slow for me, you know? I stopped running Breakthrough. So, um, and a lot of people recommended Valor too, you know? Um, which I did try Valor out there a lot, a lot, but I'm just really excited for it being like more of like, a lot of people are getting in my head about it getting pushed to a more control meta. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I like, you know me, I love keeping Evil Swarms relevant and annoying. So excited to edit that. Not excited to... Um, edit um my yang zings <laughs> honestly yeah, yeah um also excited to edit blue eyes honestly because mm-hmm. i didn't really need the collapse serpents and the warbler busters before to even do the guard dragon stuff and i only did them because everybody told me just make your blue eyes as meta as possible right, and i was like right. fine you know but now i can go back to my roots and just go rogue it up again like and be uh, as classic as i possibly can be you know um and then Without the last thing, Kaiba and man? then I'll pass it over. Exactly. No Kaiba Man or the no Ritual. No Kaiba Man. Actually, I'll use three of the Ritual. It's a must. But Paladin White Dragon? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they made a Cybers version of that until I was looking through cards the other day. I was they like, did. What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why? yeah it's one of those thank you i guess cards but before i pass it over francis because i think it being your topic you should be the last answer the deck i see emerging the most out of this is um they've never really been the top dominant they've always just found spots so i i don't think danger uh and um i don't think alter guys because they've just always been steadily good and just really annoying but um i think thunder dragons are going to come back i think yeah. thunder dragons honestly are going to find a new way to rain and then like i said on youtube youtube is flooding with all these new crazy like decks and combos and stuff like that which those are cool but nobody's really going to take those because like i said a lot of those it's kind of like an exodia deck sometimes one ash and everything goes away you know like nowadays everything has to be able to either recover from punishment punish for punishment or just not give a damn about it like i have so many effects you can ash ghost ogre and ghost bell me in the same turn and I'm still gonna get like a link four and a couple of annoying monsters out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I I see Thunder Dragons probably re arising. Like I I never really felt like um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this. I see some sort of Thunder Dragon sitting on a Beat Raptor, like mm-hmm. getting their Colossuses down low and then sitting on like a Beat Raptor, like Thunder Dragon Dinos, and just having some annoying stuff like that. That'd be actually really cool. Yeah, I I honestly have always wanted to run Thunder Dragons. It took. All my self will to give up my Colossus when I pulled one yeah, to give yeah. it up to Machuca because he really wanted to build the deck. But like, I wanted that deck so bad because they look so cool. They look but cool. Uh, then yeah. I found out how scummy it was, and I was like, "Oh man, I already play Evil Swarm. I can't get everyone to hate me," you know. But that, that's 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 what I predict and what I see. So, what about you? What do you want to build? What do you don't want to? Or what are you excited to edit? What aren't you excited to edit? And what do you see rising in this next meta? Oh, damn, dude. Well, I can't really talk about the meta because I don't really play meta anymore. I just play casually. He just comes hard. to regionals with us like one every other time. Yeah, I do. I don't, I don't really play competitive guys. Anyways, but uh, I am excited to build uh, speed roids. And if you think there's a deck coming back, it's going to be harpies. <laughs> They're going to take over the meta, dude. Trust me. There's that new Link monster that's coming out. And there's also... Tempest and they're all wind and yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be. It's I gonna will be. be so upset if he ends up being right, yeah, but right. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, that's me being hopeful. I kind of want to see. Honestly, like a deck did like it, weren't you very, supposed very to build good. harpies, man? We should I, probably I get on that it, now. I have it fully ready. It's just like I haven't made the actual. Well, I have a tempest for you. I have like seven okay, of them. Okay. That's the thing is, all I right. have like five of every dragon ruler, like rare and hollow. So like, I'm kind of juiced about tempest. So let me ask, and what what do they what do they like him being a wind? Do they have a wind specific element attached to it? So let's let's just yeah, because you can summon him by banishing any 
dra any two dragon and or wins. And or wins. Uh, so okay. having him in harpies, he's a free level seven. Who on the field. Watch. We'll just bring up their effects so we don't freaking yeah. seem stupid. Yeah. yeah. It's just been so long. And for Bear any synchro decks and little stuff like that, dude, doo -doo -doo. it works. Like, no, yeah. But for every like synchro deck out there too, that's really helpful because it's a level seven. And oh, yeah. You know, Make okay, a lot of easy so aims. Tempest reads, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you could banish a total of wind and or dragon monsters from your hand or graveyard, or and or graveyard, so it could be one of each, that's what makes them so easy, and then you special summon this card. And then do your points end phase, if it was special summoned, you return them to the hand. So that pretty much resets, if you don't use them for anything, that kind of resets their hand fodder for other effects. Mm -hmm. And then during your, um, if this card was special summon, returns to the hand, blah, blah, blah. So then you can discard this card and one wind monster to the graveyard and add a dragon type monster from your deck to your hand. Mm -hmm. So you search as any dragon from back to this. dragon there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, even though you want that out the deck usually, but still, yeah, you get yeah. the point. And then you can, um, if he's banished, you can add a wind dragon type monster from your deck to your hand. Yeah. So, and then they all pretty much do that last part with their own unique effect. Like I said, Blaster, I believe, is ditch him in a fire to pop a card on the field. Um, and then Tidal, just to make sure, even though he's banned. Uh, Tidal is um, discard him in a water to send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. So he's an additional foolish burial. That's why he'll probably never come back. And then... Uh, never say never. <laughs> I know, right? And then Redox... Um, is discard him in an earth to target a monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Cool. So yeah, yeah, you know, and then they all search a, a dragon of their attribute. And obviously there's plenty of other dragons with the elemental attributes that are good, you know, yeah. like very, not as many at light and darks that are good, but right. you, you, you get what, where this could be a problem if all four of them were back. Yep, I see it. Yeah. Well, for me, um, now I'm excited to build harpies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, glad I, I pumped you up, dude. Yeah, I'm I, I, glad I've been I did. working on that that Go Second Despot OTK deck too, which the third Dark Hole will actually kind of help that. So I'm excited for that. But that's not there's not a whole lot that I've got going on for me, unfortunately, right now with this ban list. Um, I'm not excited for Trick Stars to have to take off Light Stage because, I mean, I know there was that abuse in the other combos, but Light Stage is so essential for that deck to be able to even do anything to start searching the yeah, block back row and to add 200 to every time you burn. Like that is huge. And, yeah. and that's the casualties in like, Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list, dude. We talked about this too. Like, yeah. um, the thing about Trick Stars is as annoying as it can be to get reincarnated and stuff like that. Like we've had this discussion before. It's still not that crazy dominant. You know, like yeah. it's what it does is broken and annoying, but it's you not that crazy. Like. I mean, and I'm not saying this to be cocky, but there's been a time where you, you didn't get the lock, but you did like all three reincarnations on yep. my blue eyes and I was still able to win somehow. Yep. And that's because, you know, I will admit back then you didn't have as nearly as many link monsters or monsters that could get strong, but it was still crazy to know that that could happen. Mm -hmm. uh, on the latter though, don't get me wrong, there's been plenty of times where he's only done it once and it's been game, <laughs> you know, like yeah. where you just have that perfect Same. hand and he's like, oh, I, don't, I can't do much. Yeah, normal then reincarnation like, going. Why, yeah. like, dude, you can do enough. everything. <laughs> you say you can't do much, but it's enough to screw me. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you know, that's true, yeah. but yeah, I feel you though. When something so heavy, and I know everybody probably feels like this, so I don't want to make the whole world think I'm being like a woe is me. But I do coinc coincidentally always have a meta deck ruin something for some deck I'm running that no one else yeah, is running. Yeah. You know what I mean? And no, it's like so for you, all the time. <laughs> trick stars aren't even the real reason why that got why their light stage got hit. So it's like for you being the rogue player who wants to keep pure trick stars live, like now you're just like, well shit. You know, like, yep. maybe I should make it some more Orcus combo, yeah. some never Orcus combo. Well, now hey, dude, big, you're now not alone. Reveal, though. My Phantom Knights got hit too. Yeah, that's true. You, and, you and got you your boss monster, Phantom and you got to take it away within like three months. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's true. You got to go. Well, the problem was your boss monster was usable in way too many decks. But yeah, yeah. Um, <sighs> what yeah. are the Konami? Uh, two. He's a Link Three, three but yeah. he takes two or more dark effect uh, yeah, monsters. I think. So like, yeah, yeah. yeah so like a Link Two and One. He's really good. That's just the point. Like if you summon him. Yeah. And um, you didn't draw any of the bad resources. He's too free fiendish chains. Because when right. you summon him, yeah. you send one to set, and obviously you send silent boots, and then you ban a silent boots to set another one. So you just set two fog blades. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then Running after it pure was little... actually a viable way too, because you were able to still summon him very easily and then you know get all your negates out. Yeah. You know? yeah. But so. we diverged a little, so the big reveal, what deck do you see emerging the most? Um Harpies. The way I always look at decks emerging when they get become more accessible. Right, so like yeah. when a deck is easily more easy to be purchased and found, more people are playing it, more people can think of different creative ways about it. 
Um, so I think Sky Strikers, I mean, I know they got hit, but also like a lot more people have their hands on those cards now, you know, from Dark Saviors um, until this Revenge. Or like, Revenge. And, yeah. yeah, so like this is, this is now so many more people are going to have this that we're probably going to get more creative thinking, you know? It's like yeah. the, ac- you know, it's the classic, you know, give more people access to te- technology, technology inevitably grows and gets better. So I think there's that. Um, and then in the long run, what I'm really excited for, because you mentioned these guys earlier about not really, you know, coming up for the ban list, but... I'm excited to see what happens when dangers become more accessible because Ooh. they're so splashable that we're going to see some crazy That's cool true. danger combos when the tins come out, I think, um, because yeah. they're just going to be everywhere. Of course, they might pull a Zodiac and ban them all, but who knows. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's my answer for those two questions. Um, the l- other topic we want to talk about a little bit was I want to take you guys a l- down a little bit of a uh, little bit of history, take you down memory lane here. Always appreciate okay. knowledge. Okay, I so love that. So I went ahead and on my handy dandy iPhone... Uh, pulled up the very first ban list, very first forbidden list that ever occurred in Yu Gi Oh! Oh! Just to see how this changed from, you know, however many years it's been now. So let's start off with the monster cards. So remember, very first time cards were ever forbidden. This is the list. Yeah. First monster Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. <laughs> how ironic is that? Yeah. It just came back to three. Yeah. Uh, rather the fact, but that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah that no, is. no, for real. Shout out Chaos Emperor. No. You could have been great, but your errata made you trash. Exactly. Yeah. Back, back when there was even a Chaos Engine, you just had to fight Lights and Darks to get yeah. the graveyard. Yeah. His effect should say, waste two monsters to summon me. Yeah, exactly. When you could exactly. make Chaos Levianir or whatever his name is instead. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of more... Um, Oh, I can't remember if this is a dark earth oh, monster. Oh, I've seen that second one. Sorry to, pe- Sorry it, to yeah. screen hustle, yeah. but that, that, I remember that as a kid. We'll see. My problem is early Yu-Gi-Oh! I was very young, and I think I've mentioned this in discussions before. I played Magic because my brothers are way older, and they played Magic. And even though, like, these guys were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, a lot of my friends, I wanted to be like them. Yeah. And I could only go to CNJs if I tagged along with my brother for Magic stuff. You know, or right. actually, back then, it was called DNR it's never or too late. And even uh. before that, it was some other shop. So I was like, yeah, I had to just play Magic. So I never really knew. I, I would hear about Yu-Gi-Oh! and see Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'd watch the show, but like my brother's like, Yu-Gi-Oh! sucks. You know, like, yeah. play Magic. And I was, all right, whatever, you know? Yeah, like, it. typical Magic elitist. No. But yeah, Sangam, um, he's the little dark guy. They errated him, too, because yeah. he's no longer banned. But his original fit yeah. was he pretty much searched anything 1,500 or lower. Right, right. Like, liter- right. And it, I, I believe it was right away. Mm-hmm. It wasn't... Um, the one thing I don't remember is if he was sent, period, because that might have been why he was so broken, because I think he no, could, I think de- but he, he might have been field. No, I think he was no, just, was, he was, was sent from field it, to graveyard. It's field oh. to graveyard, and that was specific, because I read about this, um, that's when that whole XYZ material not being on the field was really clarified. Yeah. Because you could do that, you could do him with a link, so, uh, not link, a rank three, get rid of him, and then get another one, you know, from the from his effect, but they, that's when they really said, this does not count as the field if they're material. Yeah. Mm-hmm. that's yeah. true so he just got sent to the graveyard but like BAs and stuff can still get their effects yeah, because they exactly. just say sent to the graveyard mm-hmm. doesn't rem- matter the source right um, they're just but power. yeah that's crazy Sangan that's funny because he's another card who errata I mean I guess he's okay but he's still bad yeah. compared to what he used to be well what's next the next card is actually very similar um, Witch of the Black Forest oh yeah she does oh, the same yeah. thing with her defense exactly yeah. so yeah I can see why both of them back in the day because back then there was so not that much searching and like even then Besides, like, Marauding Captain, I can't think of a really powerful warrior that was, like, worth making Rota OP. Like, you know how Rota's to one now and has been to one for hella long? They, yeah. they te- like, I it think around the three. Exceed era, they, they, they teased us again <laughs> briefly and was like, here's hella Rotas, and then Noble Knight Col- uh, Kaiser's yeah. Coliseum was like, ha, 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 and then they were like, oh, shit, nope. <laughs> like, yeah, sorry. You know? yeah. And then hella other decks have used Kaiser Coliseum, and that card's R.I.P. too, but... Yeah, yeah Witch of the Black Forest and Sangan, those are funny blasts from the past, because I can yeah. see why. If they had their normal effects still and weren't errata, they would be way too broken today. Like, literally search any dragon low-level tuner, pretty much, with those cards, or any freaking Dark Warrior level 3, any Phantom Knight card, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Like, jeez. Yeah. I can think of millions of possibilities, but hit us with the next one. All right, the next one... Yatagarazu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I knew too because Yatagarazu. Another kind of mechanic that's like super broken for that era. I mean, nowadays, like, we we just we say Yatagarazu is broken, but cards like Gumlar Dragon had a run. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. banned now, but it's like there's so many cards that are arguably worse than Yatagarazu. And I actually got a Fenrir off on someone the other day. Really? And he essentially does the same thing. Yeah, I text one in my um, Yang Zing. I mean, not my Yang Zing, my Frog Gishkis, just because he's a water monster that's easy to summon and uh he's only 1400 but if he kills something by battle your opponent skips their next draw phase and i had him and a mistar boy 
So I attacked something random. I think I was playing Toby's Mayakashis. Mm -hmm. And he was relying on a top deck. And so I said go. And he was like, all right, I'm about to draw. And I was like, na, 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 na. Read my boy fan <laughs> uh, He's like, what? And I was like, yep. I was like, I know, broken, right? Like, so random. And I only did it just to try to get that off. It's like the same reason why I run Yamada Dragon. Because right. Machuka, being one of our more meta players, he told me it was stupid. And that same night, he's the first person I get it off on. And I get a whole five new cards and I end up just burning them for like 2k with like a Gishki play. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. and like, he was just like, damn. He just shook his head and started hella laughing. He's like, all right, bro, keep it. Keep it and do it again so someone just laughs and then lose the rest of the match. Because yeah, I usually do, but yeah, yeah. Um, with that deck at least. But yeah. I don't know, Yadagarasu makes sense, though, because even today, so many easier ways that, to summon things. Like, well, you make that loop, right? You just summon him, attack, you can't draw. Yeah, you have to... I forget what the old school loop was, but in today's meta, it obviously would require a lot more control. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we'll yeah. see. All right, so moving on to spells. This is the big part. Uh, first one's Darkhold. Yeah. I think we all expected that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Funny. Um, yeah. But back then, it really meant like losing it your entire field or yeah. losing your monster. And, your and how much work it took yeah. to do that. Yeah. People were like double normal summoning and then polying for yeah. stuff. Well, you look or at like, Yadagarazu yeah. and you look at like the topology, uh, the uh, metaphor you just made or um, comparison you just made, and it's like topology requires a ton of monsters to make compared to Yada Graz, which is yeah. like normal some of them. So it's like, now yeah. we have similar effects, but it's a lot harder to get to these cards. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number two is a card I've been waiting to come back for a while, Delinquent Duo. Oh yeah, that'll probably never come back though. Yeah, but they reprinted in the Kaiba collection. I was really excited. Yeah, I know. I saw that and I was like, mm -hmm. It was like, Rally like, Monster Born just not. came back. Yeah, yeah, because they've tried with other cards. I think Confiscation has been well, off. Snatch Steel no, Snatch Steel was the whole format. Yeah, that's yeah. the one they took out for like a little tiny bit at one and then they were like, yank. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, all right, number I three, like the, card. the card that didn't realize was so powerful when I was younger, and then I saw everyone playing it, Graceful Charity. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's another yeah. one that's mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah. It's not yeah. coming back either. Draw no, three cards, discard two cards. Yeah. yeah. It's not coming back. Almost Dark it's, World. It's like Saryuja it's with discard effects, like, and it's a spell. So yeah, and it's not cost, so, yeah. you know, you could pitch Dark World and get stuff. And then for even better cards than Dark World, it's like, I, that card's just ugly. Everybody yeah. would run that. Yep. Almost ever. I can't think of a single deck that wouldn't run Graceful Charity. Yeah, you're right. Uh, number four for spells is Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh -huh. I just think like, it's come back. Yeah, because nobody really runs spell and traps. Yeah. You know? They just Honestly, it would be a nice at one. It would be a nice combatant to the control decks. Yep. You yeah, know, yeah, force definitely. them to use that big negate because they don't want to sacrifice all their back rows. Like, make them have to judgment that or mm -hmm. something, you yeah. know? And pendulums, I mean, they already have a lot of hate. I mean, like pendulum decks with you know a twin twister can take them down essentially. They're just plain scales. So yeah, yeah. Number uh, what is it? Five? Yeah, monster born. <laughs> hey, that's been back. Actually, actually just got that back. Yeah. Uh, number six. That's yeah, been off and on for a while though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, it hasn't really done too much. You know, we're not. Like, it's just like a nice card, but it yeah. honestly sucks to open with. Except it's become for certain a decks. it's become an extender instead of like a game changer. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know what's funny is, like, a lot of times, I mean, the meta's gotten so focused on, like, just your combo and everything, like, sometimes I forget to just take something from my opponent's graveyard with Monster Yeah, yeah. Like, or load There was one time where, like, yeah, legit, yeah. that's exactly what's going to be my example. One time I was dueling Gary when we first made, when we first were revamping, like, his zombies and stuff. Um, before he tried experimenting weird when it was like pretty consistent it was like lights one zombie and like I we, our, de our duel got on and he made a bore load got over something annoying and I already had happened to have something to get rid of it so I got rid of it but it had been summoned properly and like later in the duel I draw monster born I'm all looking through my graveyard thinking of these combos and then finally after like three minutes of deliberating and him asking me like can you do something or not I was like oh yeah monster born bore load dragon and then, then I had two zones pointing to the sides you know like I was just like ah changes everything you know like the game. and that's why i realize it's broken because not necessarily you can get yours thing back it's that you can take something of theirs and sometimes like yeah. i've literally like facing against zombie a lot of our friends play zombies they've like i've been able to like sometimes like ash the like i'll let them get the solitaire get the unizombie out and i'll ash the unizombie right mm -hmm. but then they use some other resource to dump a mizuki and then they don't want to continue going yet right or anything like that because they don't want to make a seven or something and then they'll have that Mizuki in the grave, and then on my turn, I'll take that Mizuki with Monster Born just because I know them not having it. It's huge. It's yeah. like huge, you know? Like, and um, yeah, so Monster Born, that's crazy. Yeah. Next is Regeki. Yeah, that one uh, I have. That was another yeah. one I 
It's, I honestly that's remember. Been, that's been here. Hey, that's another one that when it came back, here, I was yeah. like, damn, because I got rid of so many of those when yeah. it was banned for multiple years, and then it came back, and it was like $30, $40, for like no matter what printing you had and I was like oh now it's hella cheap again you can get a gold rare for like 8 bucks and a secret yeah. for like 12 hey who's to say that Rikeki can't come to 2 they have dark hole at 3 already yeah but they also has a restriction care. of destroying your stuff too yeah. well it's not really a restriction in more cases it just destroys all yeah but monsters. it just makes it makes dark hole need to be used before you do stuff versus Rikeki like there's so many times, dude, where I've done a combo and I'm like, man, I've summoned hella shit, but I don't have enough to get over all this. And then because of Saryuja, I find Raigeki yeah. and I'm like, nice. Now all your stuff's gone, but my stuff's fine. I'll counter that, though, because uh, a lot of your decks don't necessarily always require to be in the graveyard. Sometimes there are some effects that you can play off with, like, comboing Dark Hole with some cards. Like, oh, if this gets destroyed just in general, you get an effect. Well, yeah, that's... The, I mean, my that's own example saying, yeah. for that is Yangzing. Really, yeah, yeah, that's, I really don't you have do, any other deck that fits but that you do have I, mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But sorry to disprove you there, but that's like literally the only deck I have. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is Dark Hole requires more nichness than Regeki. If you put Regeki at more than one, then that's just like. Free. You, you gotta also destroy, think about destroy. as much as we like to always think of the little guy. It's not like the ban list is like, if you run a meta deck, you don't get this. Like, right. a meta yeah. person could still throw two Regekis in their deck or yeah, all the can. nice, fortunate stuff they want. Like, you know, there's probably some guy who has a really good control deck right now who's licking his chops at the three solemn judgments. You know, he's yeah, like, yeah, oh, you know, like he's like, like, he's probably listening to my rant and was like, well, I already main wiretap. So when they, <laughs> they wiretap, when they me, wiretap I'll my deck, I'll wiretap them back. Yeah. You know, oh and it's gosh. like, good for you if that's the case. You know, <laughs> but damn, are you Pegasus or Yugi? Because you cheating. Like, you know, you always having the answer. But, uh, yeah, like, continue. This is fun. No, this yeah. The last yeah. one for spells, then we got two traps, is United We Stand. Oh. Damn, that's the gains 800 for everything, yeah. right? The two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> the Spartan yeah. shape. I saw, what was it, Farfa had, like, a Table 500 series where he was highlighting a, a token deck that, like, focused on getting Scapegoat out, and then United We Stand on that, and then OTK. And I was like, that's pretty freaking clever. Like, that's cool. Like, yeah, there's so other ways to get Decks like that too. are dope, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're funny, and when if you beat someone with it, they'll just be like, huh. And yeah, exactly. Like, they'll, yeah. they'll just give a huh, because they don't really know what to say. Yeah, you I'm know? not mad. I'm just, just, I'm just deporting myself for losing, but it's cool yeah. to see this. Yeah. yeah. It's not like you did some broken combo they can get super salt about. You just did something really clever and unexpected, and it worked to yeah. your advantage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I respect you for that. All right, so that's, that's all the monsters and spells. We have two traps. The first one... Ooh. Imperial Order. Oh. Yep. Yep. Of course, because before the Errata, yeah. also another card that was ridiculously broken. Yeah. You basically yeah. would just negate a spell and then let it die the next turn, not to pay anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, I'm still a big fan of that card, though. I, that was one of my first, like, secrets I pulled by myself. Well, it's still nice, even with, well, when I bought, it's not first, but when I bought those Legacy yeah. packs in that collection, I pulled that as a secret. Yeah, that's so, awesome. So, you know, that was nice, but. Okay, and the last trap card, Mirror Force. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That also makes sense. Like, board yeah. wipes were the big OP thing in early Yu Gi Oh, you know? Because you um, get rid of the board, well, I remember, you get nothing like, left. You look at cards, right? And you look at Monster Reborn, and you're like, okay, this, this card's cool. Like, I, I get why it was banned. I get why it's back. I get all that. You look at cards like Regeki, it's like, well, shit. If I'm going to pick one card that gets banned that's like from a person who doesn't know how all these combos work, it's like, that's the one. That's like the most OP card. When Mirror Force was close behind that, you know? It's a lot slower to play for Battle Phase, but. Back then, especially, there's much more limited cards. Makes sense. That's yeah. true. I miss running Mystic Tomato when I was a little yeah, kid. Same. Trying to figure out how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I loved Mystic Tomato. My biggest thrill when I started learning how to play Yu-Gi-Oh was no mana. <laughs> I was like, how wonderful. Yeah, instead <laughs> you got summons and stuff. Yeah, it's just yeah. free. And then I found Freeness. out it was, just, it was worse. Yeah. I wish I stayed playing Magic now. Yeah. But... Yeah. When you find out you it's need to destroy today. something, you don't negate it. That was the worst feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. It was very simple back in the day. You just summon a 1900 beater and you just sit on it. Yeah. Well, well you know. I summon La Jin, the Miss La Jin, the lamp. Or 1800 and it passed turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Set a, a trap hole, you're good. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I think the best part, too, about this, too, is it's just... I My last note I'll make before, you know, we sign out and ask the viewer what they think, I think, is just... I like the game shakeup, you know? Yeah. I like always, yeah. everything changing. Excited to take a crack at my decks this weekend and figure out what I'm going to do, you know? Yeah, and it's interesting because there's, for a lot of players on the Rogue Network here, um, 
we ha all have multiple decks, right? Mm -hmm. So when a ban list happens, it is kind of exciting that we all get to be like, oh, what's going on with this one? How yeah. do I make this one better? How do yeah. I go back in the lab? So sometimes you'll run out decks should... get better, and one of the other decks are going to get worse, and it's just kind of, you know. Yeah. 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 It's nice, though. It is. Stats change. <laughs> that's basically how I see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, I just have questions for the viewers besides telling them to like, comment, and subscribe. We want to know, obviously, Ooh. what you guys thought about the ban list. We want to know your interesting takes you think nobody's talking about. Um, answer the same questions for us, please, in the comment section below. What deck are you excited to change of yours? What deck are you dreading editing? And what deck do you think is going to emerge as the new um, problem or top deck, however you want to refer to it as? Yeah, and if you're listening to this podcast, make sure you head to our YouTube channel and find this video covering the same topic, and you can put all those comments down below, like Joe just said. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.